two London clubs about to face each other. And Chelsea held a 16-year unbeaten league record against Spurs between 1990 and 2006. In recent times, it's been a lot more even. Our venue is Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray. Stuart Robson is alongside me for commentary. Stuart, what are you looking forward to seeing today? Well, Derek, I'm looking forward to seeing a really good game. It's a London derby that's become more intense over the years. And if recent times are anything to go by, this should be a really good game between two excellent sides who have got some very good players. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And operating in attack today, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Hyung Min Son plays with Richarlison out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. for plenty of excitement here at Stamford Bridge. And Spurs could be onto something. Regained possession. And he's in. And a goal! 1-0! And what a fast start they've made to this game! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Aubameyang, not much chance for the keeper there. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Kane Fabier an effective challenge in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here James and Conte might take it on Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. James who can he pick out well still an issue here and problem solved for now and the counter looks on here options available well it petered out Hoybier Son and Hoybier with it
Kukureya. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Kane, very quick thinking there. Plenty of support here. Sterling. Good visualisation and execution. Now the attack fizzled out. Harry Kane. And a poor ball. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Obama Yang. And so the first half draws to a close here in West. So underway again, and Spurs know they have an uphill climb after the events of the first half. And a textbook interception. Well, no problems defensively. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Oh, great vision. He's in behind the defence here. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. And what a goal that is from Aubameyang. He hits it with power and accuracy. He's such a good finisher. Well, the ball is moving again, and Chelsea are quite simply running away with this. So a half an hour remaining. And Chelsea have given us away. Kane. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Bentancur. Havertz. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. the ball but not anymore Richarlison Javier it's a good looking ball in behind Sterling and well, he really read that brilliantly 10 minutes to go then
Hoybier. Eric Dyer. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. An incisive pass. Obama Yang. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. So, two minutes to be added on at the end. Full-time then, the referee's whistle, and it's a win for Chelsea. That's the big headline, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. So, fruitful as far as Pierre Emerick Aubameyang is concerned. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.